Fort William is, is an epic weekend. This is one of my main goals for the year, so yeah, Fort William World Cup. I'm gonna try not to think too much about, you know, what will happen on Sunday, but uh, just trying to come in with a good head uh, to go through, go through the process of the weekend. Try not to get caught up too much in all the excitement. Like it's really good fun and it's really cool to see all, you know, the fans and see everyone in the pits, but um, kind of get a good balance of of the fun and excitement and being focused for race day. There's just something about Fort William that makes it quite special. I think we get the biggest crowds here, uh, so I guess that makes it, you know, such a big World Cup and I don't know there's a big hype around it, you know, everyone builds up to Fort William and I guess being British, you know, it's a British race so we get loads of people coming to watch who we know. Get loads of people dressing up in crazy outfits and everyone's, you know, so many people come to watch on the track. To win here, you have to be smooth. You have to get down with air in your tyres, for starters. You can quite easily, when you get too excited in race runs, kind of bash your wheels around at the top. You can ride fast and, you know, when you ride fast, you kind of miss all the holes and all the bumps. And you know when you're into a good rhythm or... Last year in qualifying, I won by quite a long way and I just had a good run. Um, there's so many corners, just getting all corners nice. Yeah, being aggressive, but linking everything together well. I'm used to being the only girl on, on the team now. Uh, we do actually have a chef, Hannah, but um, yeah, most time it's just me and the boys. I get a lot from the boys actually. Uh, like, I don't get, I don't really get treated any easier because I'm a girl. Like, or if a track's difficult, I'm still expected to do the hard parts, and sometimes I feel like, oh, it's okay for you. It's a bit easier for the boys, but it's kind of good to have them expecting me to be at the same level as them because I kind of have to, you know, you can't be a wimp and be like, oh, I don't want to do that, because uh, you'll get grief. When you're excited for race day, like, you, sometimes you won't sleep very well, you know, you'll just be excited or you'll be awake too early and, uh, which isn't really a bad thing. It's kind of good to have a bit of race nerves, I think, or like that, you know, a bit of excitement when you wake up. I like that, uh, especially when you've got to wake up so early for practice. It's good to start with, you know, being wide awake and ready to go. We have a good process that we go through now. I know my routine, so it's, you know, I'll have all my stuff ready and you just eat, go warm up, practice, um, go through your race routine or whatever. So yeah, not too gestury, but a bit of, a bit of news or excitement is good to have. A win would make it a successful weekend, but I guess just, have, you know, even if you don't win, last year I had a puncture, but I still had a really good weekend. Um, you still leave with a good feeling and, you know, you still, it's still nice to have seen everyone in the, you know, the crowds and the fans and, I don't know, probably would be a bit upset if you messed anything up on race day, but you can still, kind of still enjoy the whole weekend.
next year. I've had a really good weekend, like really enjoyed it and really excited this morning and yeah, it has been really good fun, so didn't quite end the way I wanted to, but um, yeah, it's been a good weekend anyway.